This is a perfect Christmas tree. If you're arriving in winter time, you can go skiing. And this is a great place to go skiing. About four kilometers from the Polish border, Gerlachowski Stitz. This is a populous river. Four capital cities lie along this river. Slovakia is not actually that slow. <laughs> I'm Camilla, I make travel and geography related videos and I need your help to make the videos. I follow the alphabet going towards A, so the next country videos will be Singapore, Sierra Leone, Seychelles, Serbia, Senegal and Saudi Arabia. So if you know anything fun to do or see here, please contact me on my Instagram account. I will put your Instagram name into the video if you want. You can also send me a video where you talk about your country. I'll be super glad to receive some information from you. So today we're zooming in on... Slovakia. Yes, Slovakia. You'll see that Slovakia is not actually that slow. <laughs> the previous video was on Slovenia, now it's Slovakia. And many times I have kind of mixed those two countries up. Their names are similar and they lie pretty close to each other. Maybe you've experienced the same thing. But after this video, we will know so much more about Slovakia. I'm not an expert, I make mistakes sometimes, so you are welcome to let me know so that this video will be as correct as possible. Now, let's zoom in. Slovakia is a landlocked country in Central Europe. It borders five countries, Poland, Ukraine, Hungary, Austria, and Czechia. Do you remember Czechoslovakia? It was a country from 1918 to 1993. The westernmost point lies here, bordering Poland. The easternmost point marks the tripoint border with Poland and Ukraine. The southernmost point lies in the Danube River, bordering Hungary. And the westernmost point borders Austria, not far from Vienna. Slovakia is a relatively small country. It comes to number 127 in area, about the same size as Cuba and Dominican Republic. And with 5.4 million people, it comes on number 117 in population. A little more people than in Norway and a little less people than in Finland. That is 111 people per square kilometers. And Slovakia comes on number 74 in population density. Let's check the data for life expectancy. It can say a lot about living in Slovakia. In 1960, life expectancy was 70 years. In 2019, life expectancy has risen to 77.5 years. Great! Many of these people live in cities. The most populous city and capital city is Bratislava. Other big cities are Košice and Prešov. People here speak Slovak, it's the official language. And also some people speak Hungarian in the south. Slovenia in Slovak is Slovensko and means land of the Slavs. That is actually the same meaning as the name Slovenia, that's interesting. Now we'll zoom in on the capital Bratislava. So here is Bratislava, really close to Vienna in Austria. There it is, and we have the Danube River streaming right through. I've never been to Bratislava before, but I'm so glad we have Google Earth to show us something of the city. Let's see. Grasalkovicho Palak. Is that like a palace? Man at work. Dom. Maybe that's a church. Here's a museum. And along the river, I see many big boats. Okay, let's pick a place. This looks like the old town, so I'm gonna try just going there. See what happens. Oh, this is a really nice street. I love this. And so is that person. I love Bratislava. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a knight. Is there someone in that suit? Nah. Oh, look, a tower with a big clock on it. This is the Big Ben of Bratislava. Infinity Rock Cafe. What is there to eat here? Oh, it's in English. Ribs, chicken wings, pasta, Caesar salad, and a Slovak rock menu. Cool. So maybe you can come here if you want to eat something from Slovakia. Like the Italian flag? I like these houses. Oh wait, isn't that the flag of Georgia and Switzerland? Here I'm guessing Cyprus and I think that's the flag of the EU. Cool, that was fun to see. I'm curious about that man at work. Bronze sculpture of a man in a manhole. Let's see if there's something to see there. It 
Is that the man at work? <laughs> I love pizza. These are beautiful streets. Look at look at the walls of this building. So detailed. There he is. That's the guy. That's the man at work. That's a unique sculpture. Hmm. Let's see what the sign says. Tourist information. Man Square. Passenger port. Oh yeah. Let's check out the river. What could be a good place? I'm gonna try here. I may land in the road. That's okay. Again, look at the details of the building here. Wow. This is for rent, if you're interested. This is another sculpture. Big sculpture. Oh, this is nice. They have like a road here for people to walk past the river. I really enjoy those kinds of roads. Is that an ice cream shop? Or something similar? Yeah, and I guess you can go into one of those boats and ride the Danube River. Probably. This is a really nice city. Looks like a great place to just come and explore and relax and just have fun. As you see here on the topography map, Slovakia is mountainous. We can see that there are mountains in the center of the country. And if we zoom out here in Google Earth, we can see that the mountains in Slovakia are part of the Carpathian Mountains. The Western Carpathian Mountains, to be exact. I explained the Carpathian Mountains in the Ukraine video. The Carpathian Mountains lie in Romania, Ukraine, Hungary, Serbia, Slovakia, Poland, and Czechia, and are divided into the Western, Eastern, and Southern Carpathians. It is in the center of the country where we can find the tallest mountains. They're called the Low Tatra Mountains and the High Tatra Mountains. And here we can find the tallest mountain of the whole country, but also of all of the Carpathian Mountains. About four kilometers from the Polish border, Gerlachowski Stitz with 2,654 meters, or 8,709 feet. The mountains give beautiful views, valleys, lots is covered by forests, and here are some pictures I found. But Slovakia is not all mountainous. We look back at the topography map and we see there are two low-lying areas on each side of the mountains. This one is simply called Eastern Slovak Lowlands, and the other one is called Little Alfold, or Little Hungarian Plain, since it is part of the larger Pannonian Plain that covers most of Hungary and also stretches to Slovenia. The plain is fertile, it is being used for agriculture, and its soil is drained by the Danube River, which brings us to... Rivers! Yes, the Danube River is the longest river in Slovakia. It forms the border with Austria and Hungary until this point, when it streams into Hungary. The Danube River is one of Europe's longest rivers, originating in Germany, streaming through Austria and Vienna, then Bratislava in Slovakia, Budapest in Hungary, Belgrade in Serbia, Bulgaria and Romania, and streaming out into the Black Sea. This is a populous river. Four capital cities lie along this river. Other main rivers of Slovakia are Morava, Vach, Rom, and Hornat. They all flow southwards. Lakes. The largest lake in Slovakia is Orava. It lies in the north, really close to Poland. It is a reservoir, so it is man-made, made by building a dam here. The Slovaks like to come here for some peace and quiet, for instance by hiking. Another lake, much smaller lake, is Strupske Plezo. It is a popular and very scenic lake. It lies in the High Tatra Mountains in a ski resort with the same name. It is a glacial lake, meaning that it was formed by a glacier that has eroded the land. Let's do a random street view. Okay, where should we go? Okay, I'm gonna pick two places in the two lowlands and then one place in the mountains. So let's start... Oh, everything is blue. We can go anywhere in Slovakia. I'm just gonna go like there. Huh, look at this. This is a good picture by Peter Letko. Well, yeah, these are the low-lying areas, but it is still pretty hilly here. It's not flat. And here are some houses. I wonder if this is a typical rural house in Slovakia or if it is different somehow. I don't know what is normal in Slovakia. It seems like many of them are white. Or light at least. This is this one is blue. Oh, and look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at this picture. It's all yellow. This looks like rapeseed. Things that you can make oil out of for your food, I think. It looks like it. Wow, this is beautiful. We can see very far. I wonder if it's taken with a drone or something. 
this picture. Wow, so this is Slovakia. This is a great picture to get a, an overview over the landscape. Okay, good start. Let's pick another place. Oh, zoomed out a little bit far. All the way east, close to Ukraine. And let's just... Yeah, I'm just gonna put it there and see what happens. And we're at a gas station. <laughs> that happens when you do a random street view. It's a gas station. Oh well. Oh, they have arrows. I've not seen that before. Like this is the direction you have to follow, maybe? Hmm. And signs, cars, and this is a truck. I haven't seen that before either. Looks pretty neat. This gas station. And here is the Bozak Centrum. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Energo Sun. All right, yeah. Well, for the landscape, I can see it looks really flat. I, I may see a mountain here in the background. Let's see if we can go to some taller mountains. So all of central Slovakia is dominated by mountains. Well, here is park. Let's go somewhere near that park. Oh, we're landing on a mountain. I love it. Whoa, this is really beautiful. We can see the forest here. But then here the forest kind of stops. It looks like we have reached the tree line here. It is very obvious. Yeah, so if you don't know what the tree line is, it is the point of where the trees don't like to grow anymore because of different kinds of factors, but one of them is a smaller concentration in oxygen in the atmosphere. And trees need that to want to grow. So up until this point, the trees don't like it anymore. At least that's what it looks like. This is a perfect Christmas tree, this one here. <laughs> wow, there's grass here. And what are those? Are they sheep? Oh, those mountains are gorgeous. Looks like there's going a road up here. Whoa, and these rocks. Yeah, that's a lucky man. This is a beautiful picture, thanks to the photographer. Opposite side time. A boomer in the capital city, Bratislava, moving for 20,000 kilometers around the globe and we land in the Pacific Ocean. The nearest land is Pitt Island, part of New Zealand. The same as in the previous video about Slovenia. Okay, I have found three destinations for you in Slovakia. And they all lie pretty close to each other. Let's talk some more about Strupske Plezo that scenic lake and resort in the High Tatra mountains. If you're arriving in winter time, you can go skiing. There is a cable car here going up the mountains. And this is a great place to go skiing because in general, there are less people here than in the popular Alps. And you get to ski here for less money. So more money to do some more stuff. Like staying at a hotel, for instance, Wellness Hotel Borovica. Well, that sounds really nice. If you arrive at summertime though, you can take that same cable car and then go hiking in the mountains, for instance, to the Skok waterfall. Here in maps, it is easy to see the trails and here are some pictures I found in Street View. Oh, and there's also this cool ski jump in town. Whew, all this hiking makes me really warm. I need to cool down and fast. Let's continue our travels in Slovakia by driving only an hour from the resort to visit an ice cave. Yes, an ice cave. The Dobšinka ice cave. Here you can find ice stalagmites, columns and waterfalls. There are halls, corridors, domes. And the trip around here is about 25 minutes and it is about minus three degrees Celsius inside. So remember to wear warm clothes. The entrance fee is seven euros, about eight dollars. That was fun, a little dark though, so we're gonna continue our travel in Slovakia outside again. I bet you didn't know that Slovakia has many, many, many castles, more than a hundred castles. A castle only an hour away from the ice cave is Spish Castle. And these are the ruins of a big castle, one of the largest castle complexes in Central Europe. It lies on a hill and is made out of stones, dating back to the 12th century. You can park here and then walk up that hill to get there. Here I found some pictures in Street View. It is interesting to think that people lived here from the 12th century all the way up to the 18th century. People decided to move out then because they thought it was too uncomfortable to live in. And then later it was destroyed in a fire. It must be an interesting experience to come here, but I would also come for the views here. Just look at that view. Wow, I just love learning about countries. And I didn't know much about Slovakia before. Now I know it is super mountainous. There are many lakes, interesting and fun things to visit there, such as the ice cave and many castles. 
Slovakia is definitely a country I would like to visit sometime. And maybe it will be easier to travel again soon. These were some geographical facts on Slovakia. Next time we're gonna go to Southeast Asia to this tiny country called Singapore. And we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.